In my last video, I showed you how to install Cold Fusion or Lucy or Common Box on your PC locally so that you could start testing your applications locally. As you maybe know from Cold Fusion tutorial lesson 4 and onwards, there is one more component you might need to install on your PC because there's one other thing that we need if we run serious applications and we want to create uh, web applications that also run a database. And then you have a couple of options. Well, there is a new format called NoSQL. Uh, I have no experience with this. I would love to figure it out one day and I'll maybe make a video about it. But uh, I still run the old way of databases, which is relational databases. And I'm running my server with uh, MySQL. You have also Microsoft SQL and other relational database uh, servers. But I run um, MySQL and I run uh, after MySQL came MariaDB and I'm running MariaDB on my server and I run can also install MariaDB on my local PC. So then I could have an exact uh, copy of what I run online and I can run it offline and can test out stuff in the development uh, before I publish them on my production server. MariaDB can be downloaded from the MariaDB Foundation website. Um, it's an open source relational database, easy peasy, download, and Windows 64 bit MSI, so it's easy peasy. It will find the closest mirror, and you just click on download and you can download it. It's only 52 MB, it's not going to be very long if you have a fast connection. We run it and install it. Root password. Good. Still the service, that means it will always run on my PC. This of course hogs a little bit of resources, so if you use your PC for more than this, you maybe not want to install it as a service. So, ready to install. And it comes to the client, of course, or call online. You type in your password. And then you can use it as usual. And to learn more about how to create stuff here now, uh, I just refer to my tutorial number 4, which I will link. Where is this thing? How would you now link this to your Cold Fusion server? Cold Fusion from Adobe has a very nice interface, as you can see. When you logged into the developer edition, you will find here an icon for data and services, and then you have data sources. You can add here a MySQL data source, add here your source. You add it and then make it more complicated for some reason. A standard MySQL EDBC driver is no longer shipped with Confusion. Please download it, put it in CR Roots, Lip folder, and restart Confusion. Oh my goodness. Really? Why? But I suppose that if you installed a different data source, like, I don't know, maybe um, PostgreSQL or. Maybe it will not be such a difficult to do. That one works straight away on the box. So, yeah, same in Microsoft SQL Server, it works straight away. Luckily, I figured it out. So, you go to the MySQL page and come to the developer zone. There, you have the MySQL community downloads, and you will find the connector J, connector for Java, like they asked for. Then, you click here and download. And it will start the download right away. When you run it, you select the connector J 8.0, you say execute, and then you will install this. This will install in a certain directory. I figured out where it was. As you see here, you can go to the Confusion uh, lib directory, and I found the MySQL connector and paste it into the directory. It is a smart idea to restart your application. In my case, I had not running anymore, so I had to start it again. But you can also click on the restart service button. And after that, we can go back to the Cold Fusion Administrator, try to add our data source, CRMS, with these details. And the correct password. 
and as you can see now it shows OK. So now it works with the MySQL connector. Lucy also comes with an administrator. Uh, it says something about the warning that you should in a public server you would have to remove these files or, or move it or make them more secure. Um, as we're running local, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go to web, web admin and we get a pet error on the screen. That's fun. Okay, after a bunch of research, had I not gone for the express edition, then probably I would have the web root, uh, I mean the Lucy admin here as well. So, can it be done? Yes, it can be done. Let's do it the proper way. So for this proper way, I'm going to use the a little bit older version. I have a Windows installer. Download that one instead. It will automatically start my server. As I select it to start on boot up, it will always start up the server. So it is always running for me. Um, is that a good thing? Maybe can be a good thing if you're a developer and you're constantly developing. It's not so good thing if you want to use your memory for other things like video editing or gaming. And I hope that I now have a administrator. Oh yes, I do. So now I can create data sources here with my SQL server, my MySQL server. And just MySQL, create, no questions. This is how it's easy it is, uh, Adobe. And then just create it. It is okay, it is running, it works. I can just start my application now, developing here on my local Lucy server. The fun thing of Common Box is it is also running from Lucy and Tomcat server. So you can basically just copy paste that same URL Lucy slash Lucy slash admin slash web. Let's see it then. It will run right away from the browser. Though it will say something about passwords because we didn't set any passwords. And then you'll be able to access it, I guess, because it says server. And then you can click on here on server. Ah. And it will tell you how to create a file. You create a file name with name password of text containing your new password in the root Lucy server directory. On text password dot text. Okay. When you start your common box up the first time, it creates a certain dot common box file. This you'll find if you go to the C drive, the users, then the user of your choice, which is your user name. And then you'll find a file named commonbox. Dot commonbox rather. I believe it's in server. Then there's a long string. Then there's a Lucy server. Then there is a uh, Then there is another Lucy server. I believe it's here. Let's let's just try it out. Context. Now I need the password.txt file. I'll make a new one. Easy password ABC one. One, two, three. What's very simple file? And now it works. One, two, three. And I'm in there. Awesome. And my web server. Server is for the overall server and web is for just in your application, so this is just in my directory. See? And then I can go into data source, GMRS, MySQL, create a data source. This should work just the same way as the other one. Great. Oh, yeah, works fine. So now I've shown you how to run a local server for your development and even how to install a MySQL or MariaDB server. You can install anything and um, configure a data source. Although Adobe Code Fusion, why they had to remove the 
JDBC driver for MySQL is uh, a big question mark for me. I mean, what's the problem of including it? Lucy includes it, why don't you include it? I don't know. Uh, you can use other servers like Postgres, as you, as you saw, and um, so then, then you can also include it, if anything. I feel that Lucy, or even better said, uh, running just box is a way, way, way easier way to uh, have a local environment to create some quick apps and test some functionality and it will even include the the administrator and um, and you can even though you had to create a password file it is relatively easy compared to finding a driver that doesn't exist anymore oh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you will post many 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 more questions to my youtube videos because then i can create way more videos for you guys thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye